Okay, hi everyone. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'll be doing a video on Scarlet, aka Scarlet. This disgusting character. Oh my god, these characters. Have y'all realized that all these characters that's on the main stage right now are just like extra disgusting? Scarlet, Doja Cat, um, Sexy Red. Like they're just extra disgusting. And Sukiyana, just disgusting, okay? And it's the reason why. So right here she's throwing up the devil horns as you all can see. And um this character looks so scary and creepy to me. Just like that Fendi the rapper character. Like they all look creepy. But y'all gotta realize that these are the dragons. These are the devil little people, you know, and that's that's the best way I could explain it to you all, okay? When they came out and said it was aliens out here, they was actually talking about these people, okay? And they might be people around you, you know, because these people infiltrate in the regular world. You know, so it might be people around you that are these demons, you know, and you would never know. But you just got to pay attention, okay? It's the symbolism. Like, right here, she's doing a vow of silence. And she has, she's doing a vow of silence on her YouTube Avi picture, as y'all can see. So you just got to pay attention to the symbolism, okay? So her name is Scarlet, okay? But we're going to talk about Scarlet because Scarlet is very significant to a lot of Bible scriptures and revelations. Scarlet equals up to dragons, the red wave, and also Scarlet. So her name matches up to Scarlet. Scarlet and Scarlet matches up perfectly. So let's talk about these scriptures, okay? Isaiah chapter 1 verse 18. I'm just going to talk about what it says. Scarlet. It says, though your sins be as scarlet, they shall be as white as snow. Though they be red like crimson, they shall be as wool. So scarlet is like red. That's why this character Sexy Red is out here. That's why you all, like, that's why they promote red, red, red so much right now. Because basically red is basically a color of hell, a color of negativity, a color of um bad you know your sins be as red as scarlet but they should be as clean as wool as white okay so that's basically how that go and he goes to most scriptures you are revelation 17 3 so he carried me away in the spirit into the wilderness and i saw a woman sit upon a scarlet color beast that scarlet color beefs they they take their names they they make so much mockery out of the bible but the bible you have to learn how to read the bible you all like you pay attention to some of these names and the stuff that they're doing and a lot of these words it matches up to stuff in the bible so it kind of lets you know where where we are in the world you know what i'm saying it's kind of like a little mind game thing you just got to know how to put the stuff together basically so that's why her name is scarlet scarlet equals scarlet and it's talking about revelations this scarlet color beast all this stuff revelation 17 4 it, is, it even talks about the scarlet color again with the woman that was in purple and she had a cup full of abominations full of filthiness and her fornication and also think about it like this too sexy red she wears red all the time she's disgusting all she talks about is fornicating and sex okay so you just got to put it all together and also doja cat has an album called scarlet okay this is her fourth album so scarlet still goes back to revelations that's letting you all know exactly where we are in revelations and you just got to be able to put it put put it all together you know right here she's doing the devil horns as you all can see she has the pink blue and white on the pink blue and white it matches up to the train station flag and something that's real deep that you all have to think about like my little brother is in high school and he saw a train station and he thought that it was an actual woman so you know if you got kids you need to start teaching your kids you can't be blurring the line. You can't be helping confuse them because they, they're out here to confuse your kids, like confuse the mess out of them. But as a parent, you have to be the one to tell them and explain to them this stuff because it's going to get to a point of where your kids might end up talking to somebody and think that they're another sex and then they might end up da-da-da. And, and you, it could have just been easily avoided if you would have been teaching them what's going on and everything. This is their main agenda. As you can see, everything is pink, blue, and white with her a lot. A lot of these new characters, you know? And that's because their main agenda is to confuse and blur the line and change the sexes to make man, woman, and woman, man. And just make everything confusing. You know, that's Satan. That's the devil job, and that's his little fallen angel jobs. That's the biggest, the biggest thing that they're pushing now, like literally, the biggest, because they know that if man is with woman and woman is with man, it could keep us procreating. But they want to keep them out here and get rid of us. So it's just real deep, but it's not too deep when you really think about it. They want to win. They want to be the ones that's out here and keep us following and looking up to them. But one day it's supposed to, you know, the second coming, we are going to be the ones. And they're going to be at the bottom. And they know that. And that's why they're trying to push all this disgusting stuff to make us like them. But as y'all can see, 
You know, they always post stuff with fans because they love the energy. They love y'all hyping them up. If Go to one of these beast conversations. I call them beasts because that's literally what they are. Go to one of their concerts. You're going to see when people be hyping them up, it's like they be possessed by demons. I might put a video at the end and show y'all what I'm talking about. Okay, so her name on Instagram is Scar the Star. And that matches up to Cayman City. Dake Prescott. And she matches up to a team, too. Also, I'm going to talk about that later. The Satanic Prophet and also Lionel Messi, both. It matches up twice to Lionel Messi because that's their Messiah. That's that's their their God, you know. And just always keep your eyes on that character, Lionel Messiah. I mean, Messi, he's a um, soccer player, okay. But right here, as you all can see, this, this girl is fighting cancer. And her last wish was to meet her, you know. <laughs> To me, the beast, you know, to me, this disgusting character. And they love this stuff. They love us giving them all our energy because we hype them up. We're hyping up beasts. We're hyping up the dragons. That's in Revelations. Let's talk about in Revelations. This is the devil, Satan, whatever you want to call him. This is his people. And we are hyping them up and giving them all our good, positive energy. And we just keep hyping them up, hyping them up, hyping them up. You know, it's disgusting. So, as you all can see, like I said, Scarlet name matches up to 111. And it also matches up to Tink real name. Because Tink is also with the same movement. Don't be deceived. And it also matches up to Dragons in the Red Wave. And I'm going to talk about the Red Wave, okay? So, Dragons right here, you all. This is just some scriptures. You all can read it. But the Dragon, the Serpent, the Devil, the Reptilian... That's him, him and his angels. They all are the same people. They all got the same mission out here. That's the dragon. So when y'all see these people having these reptilians in their bio, like um, Lola Brooke, it's the dragon. When y'all see that, it's Satan, the dragon, the serpent, the reptilian, it's all the same person, okay? And this is the red wave, the red sea, as y'all can see. This is some scriptures about the um sea turning red is blood and the bible is like a bunch of metaphors and stuff you will have to be able to put stuff together to understand it it's not literally like you could just read it and think that is what it means no it's literally like a lot of metaphorically stuff you have to be able to put stuff together and put stuff that's going on in the world with that and then piece it all together okay for example um Megan Thee Stallion, she has all the red, the red, the red, the red, the horse, the four horsemen that goes back to the Bible, she, the stallion, the four horsemen, the red, the red goes back to the red sea, the blood, the red, sexy red goes back to the blood, the red wave, the red sea, the sea turning as blood, the world, the world is turning to red, the red represents the wrath of God, okay, so basically, the wrath of God is blood blood death red 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 why y'all think they got a character out here called sexy red why y'all think megan and stallion the four horsemen it goes to it's all together you all it's all together okay scarlet doja k got an album called scarlet coming out scarlet is out it's all going back to that prostitute that had the abominations the cup full of abominations the the beast the beast is Babylon. Babylon right now is America. So y'all just got to put it together, okay? When you worship the beast, you're worshiping America. Everything that America is pushing right now, you're worshiping that. So you have to be strong with your mind about what you worship and what you give your energy to. Don't give your energy to none of this boy crap, basically. Okay, you all. Did you all know that since we talk about Scarlet and Scarlet, it's something out here called the Scarlet Fever. And it's a red rash on your face, your neck, your trunk, your arms and legs. And it's a bacterial illness that develops in some people who have strep throat. And, you know, it said that it's, you know, that's just very significant, interesting to me when it, we're talking about scarlet. Everything, it goes together. Everything is a part of everything. As y'all can see, the red rash. I just told y'all, scarlet, scarlet, red, red, red. You know, it's crazy. And I'm about to show y'all a video of what I mean by when they be performing and they be under demon possessions because these are literally demons in a human form. But when you look at their faces, you could tell that they're not of us, okay? So make sure y'all subscribe, subscribe to my channel. Turn my notification bell on. Peace out. Stay blessed. You know, I don't try to push religion on people, but... You know, just believe in some, believe in a higher power, believe in a higher power. And that's all I can say. And deuces.